Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Makeup Monday. Today's video is going to be a review slash glam video. We are going to be beating this face to the gods using the brand new Bare Necessities palette. Okay, let me just throw this out there. Every time I say Bare Necessities, I think of the song from the Jungle Book. It's the bare necessities the simple bare necessities <laughs> anyone no it's just me okay i also snatched the new brush set that comes along with the bare necessities palette um this brush set is just freaking gorgeous out of this world beautiful and i've been wanting to get new brushes so <laughs> Here we are. All right, you guys, let's not ramble on too much on this intro because I don't really have much to say. Actually, I do have one thing to mention to you guys, and that is I am planning on doing Vlogmas. I'm planning to start on December 13th. That would be my first day of Vlogmas. The last day that I would post would be December 24th. I don't want to post on Christmas because I don't want to distract you guys from your family duties or whatever from Christmas. So. I am planning on doing 12 days of Vlogmas, so if there's anything that you guys want to see, please let me know any ideas. I am so open to whatever you guys want to see. If you guys want to see cooking videos, if you guys want to see me cleaning my bedroom, cleaning like my makeup room, whatever it is, just please let me know because I really do want this to be successful. Well, I want you guys to get to know me a little bit more and more behind the scenes. I know you guys are just used to seeing this little square right here and I definitely want to show you guys like behind the scenes my family my man my daughter my dogs <laughs> my sister pretty much everything so definitely let me know in the comment section down below if you guys are up for vlogmas and what videos you guys want to see it would really help me out so so much with that said let's just go ahead and jump right into this video because girl I am ready to test out these brushes let's see what this is all about <laughs> I think I'm going to start off with the skin first because I am wanting to do a soft glam look that is super trendy right now. So I was like, you know what? Let me jump on the wagon too. I'm going to take my No Por No Problem primer by Touch and Soul. This is a primer that oh my god, when I first got it, I could not put it down. Oh, my hands are so cold. We're just gonna rub that into the skin. My skin is acting so good. I'm like, look at you, girl, glowing to the gods. Really quickly, though, I am going to take my Pure Cosmetics powder. This is the Balancing Axe Mattifying Powder. And I'm going to go in with the F20 brush. This one is a rounded brush that I think is really good for contouring. But I'm just going to use it really quick to... Press the powder into the areas where I mainly get oily, which is my T-zone. If you guys haven't seen the video that I posted where I showed you how to stay matte, like have an extremely matte skin with a little bit of glow and super long wearing, um, I will link it up here somewhere so you guys can watch it. If you guys struggle with oil in your skin or excess oil, that video should definitely give you guys a little, little help. Now, I am going to go in straight with my foundation. This is the one that I've been using every single day pretty much since I bought it or since I was, since I reviewed this. What am I saying? This is the Insta Bake Foundation by the brand Beauty Bakery and this is their Aqua Glass Foundation. I am in the shade 329 WN and this is actually a really good match for me. She is full coverage. Okay, let's move on to the concealer. I haven't used this one in a hot minute, so we're going to use it today. We are going full, full, full coverage. Um, I'm going to take the shade Soft Tan. Oh, my God. I feel like I have a hair on my face. But I don't see it. This is the Aqua Assurance Zero Concealer by JCAT Beauty. If you guys want a full coverage concealer, this one is probably one of my 
all-time favorite concealers. It's just such a good coverage, but it doesn't make you look cakey. I am so proud of myself this year. I am done, all done with all of my Christmas shopping. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. I usually wait literally to like the 21st um, of December to do like all my Christmas shopping. Why do I do that to myself? I don't understand. And then I'm like driving myself crazy, trying to figure out what I'm going to get for this person and this person. This year, we actually ended up doing a secret Santa between my sisters and my best friend, Trisha, which you guys have seen on my videos because both of my sisters are really close to her. So we just ended up doing a secret Santa in between all us girls, which I thought it was a pretty fun idea because A, you spend less trying to get a present for everybody and it makes it more fun too. So yeah, I'm going to take my little Juno and Co makeup setting powder. Wow, this powder is amazing you guys told me you're gonna love it you're gonna love it and yes i've been loving it it is so finely milled and it just blurs your skin i do have to say though i wish that they had different shades instead of just a translucent one i don't know why i'm not a fat excuse me i'm not a fan of these translucent shades i wish they had one that had a little bit of a yellow undertone oh my god that would be it that would make it even more perfect. Mm, see how smooth that is? Yum, I love it. Add this to your uh, Christmas wish list. For bronzer, I have my good old butter bronzer by Physicians Formula. This is in the shade Deep Bronzer. And uh, okay, I'm gonna take this one to bronze up my forehead since my forehead is like a five head. I'm gonna go in with this brush and I'm going to contour. I feel like I'm gonna like this brush a lot. Mm -hmm. And then we can use this one for blush. Yeah, this definitely is a really good brush for contouring. Cool, I like that. I'm going to take the F21 brush and I'm going to go into this Buxom blush in the shade Dolly. I love this blush. If you guys saw my November favorites, um, I featured this blush in that video. A little goes a long way with these. Oh my god, I applied a little too much. Another thing that I wanted to mention is that I wish this um, brush set came with a highlighting brush. Technically, you could use this one, but I'm going to use this one for the eyes. So I'm just going to use my own. This is the Kaleidos H1 brush. And I'm going to take my Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm just going to mix them all because that's exactly what I've been doing. Okay, I think that's enough highlighter for the day. Let's jump right into the palette. Oh no, I already got my palette dirty. I got foundation on it. Okay, okay, I changed my mind. I'm going to start off with this brush first. This is the E17. This one is just a little bit more tapered because what I want to do, since we're going for a soft glam, I really want to create almost a cut crease. So we're going to start off right here. And we're going to bring it pretty close to the nose, almost connecting a nose contour to the eye. And I am bringing this up a little bit higher. I'm going to mix complicated and crack on crack on that's kind of a weird name but okay we're gonna start right here and I'm going to bring this and bring that right here to the nose contour this time you actually don't want to apply too much pressure so we can create a soft cut crease or a soft crease I guess I'm actually going to switch to the back to the E16, which is this one. I just used it to slightly buff out. Um, but I'm actually going to take a mix of Hustler and Hot Gossip. And I'm actually going to blend that right at the top. And I'm just going to use that to blend that right here. And I'm pretty much going 
really close to the brow. I'm going to take this little buffing brush. It's the E15 and there's no product in it. Um, I'm just going to buff out the edges and also the top. I'm going to go back to the two shades that we mixed, the softer shades, which is Hustler and Hot Gossip. And I'm actually going to uh, take the E15 brush and I'm just going to start buffing it right out here, concentrating most of the color into the crease. And then I'm slightly going to wing it out. I just realized I wasn't filming this part. Okay, so what I did is I actually took a little bit of tabloid which is this shade I'm going to show you guys. I use the E16 just a little bit and then I literally just tap off the excess because we don't want any darkness in this look. And I just added this to the outer corners of the eye just a little bit right in the socket. And then whatever's left on the brush I just blend out. I create almost like a wing here and then I bring it in. I'm just keeping this very, very close to the like lash line in the outer corner of the eye. Do you guys see how it's still a little bit like soft, but it has a little punch of color, which is exactly what we want. Now I am going to take the E4 brush, which is a nice flat brush, and I'm gonna take full expose again. I wanna take something that's a little bit brighter than this because even though it's like nice and bright underneath the brow, I really want this to pop. So I'm actually going to mix this one and I'm going to dig into my Wet n Wild palette and take the white shade because this shade is like a true pure white so any white shade that you have setting powder whatever it is I'm just going to take a mix of these two and then whatever is left on the brush I'm just going to blend it back like this to create that soft effect okay so I do actually want to add a little bit of glitz and glam to this look so I'm going to take the E20 brush which this one is itty bitty like so tiny and this is actually perfect for what i have in mind and i'm gonna take the shade silk teddy which is this gorgeous shade right here and we're just going to dip the brush in there i want to create like a little wing but i don't want to add like an eyeliner because again i just want to keep this as soft as possible so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take I think I'm going to shade or uh, take the shade Taboo on this E6 brush because it looks like it's the darkest brown. I might go in with a little bit of bubbles, but this one has a tiny bit of sparkle on it. So we're going to see if we can uh, work with that. But let's go in with Taboo on this brush, which is an angled brush. And I'm just going to create a little bit of a wing right here. We're not going to draw it too, too big just to give us a little extra some some. And you know what, since I'm here, I'm actually going to create an inner corner wing. I really like to do that because it really makes my eyes look like elongated and it gives you that like cat eye effect, just like that. If you have a brown eyeliner, you can totally do that. I'm gonna go ahead and do this eye off camera really quick and I'm gonna pop on some lashes. I'm not sure what lashes I'm gonna use, but I will definitely let you guys know and then we can come off or and then I can come back and just finish off the lips with you guys. So let me go ahead and do that really quick and we're gonna be done for my lipstick i'm actually gonna use the 2.5 kkw beauty lip liner this one is amazing for creating that really pretty dark lip liner light lipstick ombre effects um and then for my lipstick i'm gonna use the dose of colors more creamer please i know this was a limited edition product but honestly like any color that you have will work just fine i'm sure you guys can find something similar to this and i feel like this look deserves a lip gloss so I'm gonna take my little Sephora cappuccino lip gloss and pop it in the center and the look is completed I absolutely love this soft glam it's so pretty it's still very like glam but soft duh I hope you guys enjoyed this and I mean
no complaints absolutely love this palette i think if you are a basic girl that likes really soft colors with a little bit of like a darkness in there this palette is definitely very beautiful very pigmented this has to be my favorite shade from the entire palette it's just so pretty and soft and the brushes ni se diga i am obsessed with them i am glad that i was able to pretty much use every single one except this one was the only one that i wasn't able to use but other than that wow i am impressed if we could switch this brush for a highlighting brush this would be the perfect brush set that is it for me you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this soft glam makeup tutorial let me know if you're going to recreate this in the comment section down below and don't forget um, to let me know your ideas for vlogmas i love you guys all so much i hope you guys have an amazing day <laughs> and i'll see you guys in my next video Mwah. bye